Hi guys, it's Liz Parrish at BioViva, and today we're talking about genetic testing, why you might want to do genetic testing, and how it might help the future of medicine. So let's get started. What is a genetic test? Well, a genetic test uh, actually looks at the different variations in your genome compared to someone else's. Or maybe even you could think of it as the similarities. So mostly you and I are the same, but there are small variations that make me, Liz Parrish, and you who you are. Uh, both of us being just as valuable. So let's see. Let's look at some of those variations. So there's something called a SNP a single nucleotide polymorphism. And this is one of the things that we would look at in a genetic test. And it's just a variation in the A, T, C's and G's in your gene compared to mine. So in the same place, we might have a variation. I might have a G and you might have a T. And that variation can end up leading to differences that might increase either our risk or benefit towards a disease state, making you either healthier or more likely to get sick. When we look at genetic tests, the reason that we're looking at those is to basically start to summarize and get a good idea of what your medical future will look like. We might also be able to explain your past medical uh, history. And that allows us to get gain data across the globe in order to create something called preventative medicine. Preventative medicine and precision medicine will involve understanding the wide breadth of the genome and other ohms that you might want to leak down to below if you want to watch some of our other videos uh, that will actually increase our assessment of not only risk of disease state or benefit of certain genes, but also how we use medicine to treat those conditions. And in the case of BioViva, how we look at different gene therapies that might affect those conditions in a positive way. Therefore, maybe making it nil and void that you have a lot of associated risk for disease. Now, don't get completely panicked yet. Maybe you're feeling like, I don't know if I want to see this. I don't know what my genetic uh, risk is and I don't want to panic about the future. But medicine right now is changing so quickly and BioViva with our gene therapies are moving so fast that we'll be able to uh, potentially in the near future uh, have a curative effect to some of these diseases through uh, genetic modification. So learning about what's wrong actually helps us move that into uh, the future of what could be right. Uh, about those conditions and helps us innovate and spearhead a myriad of new uh, drug discovery. One of the things that is really exciting about getting some of your initial genomic data is that you learn about how you metabolize certain drugs uh, from different things that your doctor might prescribe all the way down to caffeine. Have some of you ever wondered how you drink a cup of caffeine in the afternoon and you don't sleep for three days. Uh, your counterparts are wondering why they can drink a cup of coffee, let's say a cup of caffeine, uh, multiple times a day and fall asleep right after drinking it. And that is uh, one of your metabolism uh, rates of things like caffeine. So it can actually help your doctor prescribe you better drugs and at better doses over time and it might actually help you establish better health outcomes for the things that you're eating and drinking in your own home. When you have a genetic test, we don't just want to leave you with that data. We don't want to, you to see that you have a 25% increased risk of Alzheimer's or, and then you know completely panic about that, or you have uh, maybe genes associated with certain cancer risks or uh, heart disease risks. We offer genetic counseling, and genetic counseling is something that you should get no matter what test that you've taken. And through BioViva, we're offering genetic counseling through counselors who are trained to actually advise you and understand what those disease risks mean. Uh, in a nutshell, just because you have an increased risk in one disease doesn't mean that you'll ever get that disease. Uh, and you should definitely uh, talk to a genetic counselor about that. They can alleviate a lot of the, the worries that you have and actually even work with you to help modify things like diet and uh, daily activity in order to prolong 
uh, a disease state from showing up. So how do you take a genetic test? Well, there's several ways to do it. Uh, the most common today is to just get a little vial in the mail and you actually put saliva into it. So you get to spit into the tube. Uh, the other way is to do a blood test and people have been known to do genetic tests from things like tissue and hair samples. We hope that you get really excited about looking at your genetic tests and what they mean and talking to our counselors. I really highly suggest the experience. Your story is essentially written in that DNA and we want you to get really excited about that story. And we want you to get excited about modifying that story into a future that you're interested in. So you can actually visit BioViva uh, at the address here. You can like, share, or follow us. And um, I look forward to your genetic future.